Hi, welcome to Mrs. Jolero's art room. Today we're going to be drawing chameleons. Chameleons, as you know, are lizards. And lizards, as you know, are reptiles. Chameleons are really cool. And the thing that they are most famous for is that they can change color. Some people think that they change color to match their surroundings when they want to, but that is not the case. They change color when they're angry or cold or hot or they're sick. So they're really fun to draw though because of that color thing. And plus they're such interesting looking lizards. Let's get started. So first take a white piece of paper and you're gonna divide it into fourths. like that. In this upper right fourth, you're going to go ahead and draw lines with a pencil and make sort of a quarter circle shape. Not all the way to the edge. Leave a little room there because you're going to need a little bit of room for that curly tongue. Then right here, going to make the chameleons back and leave a little room over here as well because you need room for the tail. Okay, and then I like to round that corner off a little bit so it looks more like a head. Okay, next you're going to make the chameleons little legs so one there and one here. And you can't see the other two legs because they're on the other side of a branch. Then let's make the tail. Now, as you can see, the tail curls around and it's pretty long. So I'm gonna come down here and go around and then Draw another line going around like that. You can make yours curl however you want it to. In order to catch some insects, they need a long sticky tongue. And I think we're at the point now where we can go ahead and get rid of those lines that we made with our pencil or in my case with my eraser. Okay, let's make the long curly tongue. It's kind of fun to make it super long, right? Now, we don't want our chameleon to look like it's floating in thin air, so we're gonna just draw a branch here a little below the chameleon's body. And branches don't have to be perfectly straight lines because in nature they are not. So I am going to intentionally make mine so it's not perfectly straight. And then it'd be nice to have some leaves. So I'm gonna draw a line there and then draw a line coming off of that. And then at the end of my lines, I'm going to create leaf shapes. I got this lesson from the website that I have mentioned before because I really like it called Art Projects for Kids. I feel like I want another leaf here, but I don't have a lot of room. So maybe only part of my leaf is going to show. So you can check that out. There's a lot of really good art projects on there. I've changed it up just a little bit. Okay, then I like to have a sun, but I don't have a lot of room. So I could have made it a little bigger. This sun's gonna be kind of small. And then around my sun, I'm going to make lines going like this. And then I'm going to create little rectangles for rays sticking kind of straight out like that. It's easier if I turn my paper to make my lines sticking straight out so that all the rays are going radiating from the sun. 
fun. And you can make your sun however you want to, but this is kind of fun because it matches the style of the chameleon. Now, something else about chameleons that makes them look like chameleons is they have really big bulging eyes. Well, I made that one really big. And here's my pupil. And when I color my pupil, I like a little white spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that so I remember not to color that in. Okay, the next step, once you are happy and put as many leaves as you want and everything else that you want, once you're happy with your drawing, you're going to go ahead and trace over the whole entire drawing with a marker. And I like a black marker. And this one's pretty thick. So go ahead and do that now. And once you have drawn the chameleon itself, I'm going to show you how to make your chameleon have stripes. Okay. I always make the white spot a little bigger than I want it because once you color it in with your marker, it seems like it really shrinks. And my tail. Okay. Now let's go ahead and draw our stripes. So when we draw our stripes, we don't want them to be straight lines forming the stripes because if we curve them a little bit, it gives the illusion of shape. And you think about how close you want your stripes to be together or how far apart. That's a choice you can make. And then the tail, same thing. If you curve your stripes on your tail, it will give the illusion that your tail is round. Okay. Once you've done that, you'll go ahead and you'll outline everything else with your marker. And this is such a small piece of paper that it worked out really perfectly to color it in with colored pencils. And besides, I think colored pencils are really pretty. So you can make your stripes any colors you want to. Chameleons come in all different colors. If you went to Madagascar or mainland Africa to see chameleons, you would see all different colors and all different sizes of chameleons. So go ahead and think about what you want your main color to be, your background, your stripes, what you want your chameleon to look like, but have fun coloring it in. It's nice and relaxing and enjoy your little lizard. See you next time.